I wasn't gonna film this because I filmed so many eyeshadow declutterers, but my tub is completely full and I won't show again. And I got new eyeshadows, so I kind of need this kind of needs sorting out. Um, eyeshadows, I'm a bit of a hoard when it comes to eyeshadows, and I refuse to buy more storage for my eyeshadow palettes because some of you don't need loads of eyeshadows, right? So, start off. So, this is the Revolution Shark Palette. I'm going to keep that. Now, this thing, I've not touched it since I got it. It's the Revolution Midas Touch Press Glitter Palette. I had a few issues with these. Like, you have to literally dig the brush out to get any product. And I didn't know. You know what? I'm just not going to reach for it. It's not like a palette with normal eyeshadows in as well, it's literally just full of press glitters. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, I'm not gonna use it. Um, this I got from Wish. Um, this is the uh, Cosmetic Sema D, I don't know what that even says. Um, I've not used it since I did that video, but I didn't have anything wrong, like anything bad to say about it, so I'm gonna keep it and we'll see how it goes <laughs> this is the nick sugar uh, trip squad palette i'm gonna keep this because i really like this palette again i'm gonna keep the mac mischief minx palette uh, this is the kiko active Fluo eyeshadow palettes like neon colours. Um, I don't know actually because I don't reach for it as often anymore um, than I used to. I'm still on the main pile for now. This is the Kiko Small Eye Eyes and Cheek palette. I don't remember what this looks like. I'm not. <laughs> the problem with small palettes is I don't reach for them as often because I don't really. <sighs> uh, have I even used that blush? I can't remember if I've used the blush like once. And uh, I'm going to get rid of it because <laughs> I'm just not going to use it. <clears throat> this is the Revolution Sophie X palette. I'm going to keep that. I then have the makeup. I Heart Makeup uh, Chocolate Vice Palette. All the chocolate palettes I'm going to have, I'm going to keep. So I have the Chocolate Vice, the Chocolate Alexa, and Chocolate Rose Gold. By the way, I've got more palettes. Other, well, daily palette I've got is this one that's in the set, which I'm going to keep, which is my I Heart Revolution. It's all in its box and everything. And then there's one more palette, which is the Jeffree Star one, which I'm going to keep because that I paid a lot of money for that, even though I, I'm, I'm not 100% happy with it. But yeah, here's another chocolate palette, the Soldier Caramel Keeper. This is the Rimmel London Magnifier Eyes Electric Violet Edition. And I keep this, this is no, I have no problems with it either, so I'm going to keep it. This is the NYX Colour Riot. I do really like the colours in here. But again, I don't really reach for quads often. Um, but I do really like the orange. Mm, cinnamon, why would you get something? You know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. This is the makeup gallery all about the shadow actually quad in Burgundy Boss. This is what I got from Poundland. I'm gonna keep it for now just because I did like the eyeshadows in it. The top money palette, I'm definitely keeping this, I love it. Uh, the W7 Delicious palette. Uh, I don't really reach for it anymore. This is meant to be a dupe for the Anastasia palette. Don't ask me which one. I think it's the first one. Uh, maybe pile. Uh, this one I'm going to get rid of just because I've used it recently. 
it's kind of gone all weird like it's like it's like chunky and like kind of it kind of falls apart basically goes onto the brush really chunky. it's really weird the f i've had this for years though this is literally the, i swear this is like the first renovation palette i actually bought so i have had it for a while so i'm gonna get rid of it Um, this is the L'Oreal Cherry My Cherry Palette. I'm gonna keep this because I do like it, and I don't really have that many. Don't don't really have that many colors, um, like this sort of shade range. I usually go for like dark, vampy colors. Next is the Revolution Flawless Palette, which I am keeping. I then have the Revolution Midnight Unicorn. This was for like a Halloween. I don't remember what year, but I'm keeping it anyway. This is the Kylie Take Me on Vacation palette. This is a palette which I think people were just being overly harsh about. Um, just because it's like Kylie Jenner. It's like go with yourself people. But yeah, I'm keeping it. Uh, this is the Soft Black Soft Locks Black Cherry um eyeshadow palette. This one obviously is a recent one which I'm gonna keep. Then I have another prime look one. This is the Looking for Wonderland. Um, I really like the packaging. I don't reach for that often though. Um, if any. Um, I'll keep it for now just because I do like Ice and Wonderland. This is... It's looking so far like it won't show. I've only got two. Why well, not two left? Right. This is the Avon Perfect Wear. Which I forgot I had. I swear I've only used this a few times. Like, look, it looks brand new. <laughs> it looks brand new. So, why have you not freaking used this palette? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why did you buy it if you weren't going to use it? Oh my god. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say, like, with small, like, quads and stuff. I don't reach for them because I, I want. You can't, you can't always go for a full look. And when I wear makeup, I tend to want to go out large. <laughs> I also have to note this because it's only been lightly used. But I know I'm not going to use it. <laughs> right, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not going to use it. Tanya Burr. Um, this is the My Escape palette. I've already saved a palette with greens in it. So, has it got green? Oh, okay, yeah with greens in it and these are sort of greens I'm just not going to reach for so I'm going to get rid of it there's nothing wrong with it I just I'm, I'm not used it right back to the maybe pile right the W7 Delicious um I'm just going to get rid of it I'm going to be honest with you I've got colours like this in other palettes I'm just going to get rid of it um this key care one I am going to keep though so that is it for this declutter. So this is all the stuff I keep paying and that's all the stuff I get rid of. As I said, there's a few I might need to look at, like that Avon quad, which I could probably donate. But yeah, we'll donate, like sell it on something because I don't think charities, charity shops in the UK anyway don't take use makeup. So, bye guys.